ambassador to the United States, Ron Dermer. And Ambassador Dermer, thank you for being with us tonight. Thank Obviously, you for this me. is a, a you know what happened here is is horrific, and we don't yet even know the scale of how many children may have died. Initial reports indicate that that at least 16 are dead, um, and and the, the initial reports that was that this attack had come from Israeli tanks. As you know, the Israeli military has said it may have come from Hamas and a rocket which misfired. Do you know at this point? Do you have any more certainty? No, I don't know, but I do know uh, who's responsible for it, uh, and that's Hamas, because they're using schools uh, as weapons depots, and I think it would be a disservice to your viewers for a reporter from Gaza not to mention that in the last week we had two different UNRWA schools where we had actually rockets found in the schools and handed over to Hamas. I also think it's a disservice. These are two different UN schools, you're saying? That's correct. That's publicly available information. It's kind of an important fact for your reporter to mention. And in addition to that, he may have wanted to mention a statement that was made by, not by the Israeli ambassador, not by the spokesman of the IDF, but by the UN Secretary General yesterday. And I want to read you what he said yesterday. Not last year, yesterday. He said this. The Secretary General is alarmed to hear that rockets were placed in an UNRWA school in Gaza and that subsequently these have gone missing. He expresses his outrage and regret at the placing of weapons in a UN administered school. By doing so, now listen Aaron, exactly what he says. Mm -hmm. By doing so, those responsible are turning schools into potential military targets and endangering the lives of innocent children. UN employees working in such facilities mm -hmm. and anyone using the UN schools as shelter. This is yesterday. Do you not think that it's relevant to report on CNN that I the Secretary General of the United Nations yesterday warned against the use of UN schools and shelter for mm -hmm. rocket missile depots of Hamas? And Ambassador, it, it is relevant. And let me ask you this well, though, because of what you said. But, but Aaron, I've been listening for two hours of reports on CNN. I have seen split screens, horrible pictures, horrible pictures that any decent human being would be horrified by. I have not heard a single person say what I just said to you now. And I think that that does a disservice to your viewers to not give them the context they need to make these judgments. Oh. Hamas is placing missile batteries in schools, in hospitals, in mosques, and there must be outrage by the world but, at Hamas and to end this. But Ambassador, there is, also, there is also this, which is, and this is the latest information we have, which is that Israel, you did reach out to the UN three days ago. You told them to evacuate the school because of exactly what you just said. That's right. But, but here's my question, and the reason that we're showing these pictures, because these are dead children. Would Israel have taken the time to confirm that those children were out of the school before you fired? Send someone in to look? Or do you think it's okay that you issued the warning and then just went ahead and fired well, I if think, there were kids I think there, what that's you're their just, problem? I think you have no basis for making the statement that you just made. Of course we wouldn't fire directly, but I don't know what happened in that school. What I understand is we gave people days to get out of that area. This is in the northern Gaza Strip. There's a good chance that it may have been a Hamas rocket that hit it. I don't know if somebody fired, a Hamas fighter fired directly from that school at our military who's operating there, and then mm -hmm. we responded to fire. I don't know the facts. I do know that there's children, and I don't blame the media. Don't get me wrong. I'm not blaming the media for showing the pictures. What I'm blaming the media is for not connecting the dots. The dots point to the responsibility of Hamas for using schools as weapons depots and caches for Hamas. It's unacceptable, and the outrage of the world has to be turned on Hamas. This is the Secretary General of the United Nations speaking yesterday, yesterday warning that this could happen. All right. Ambassador Dermer, thank you very much. Thank you. And still out front, Ambassador to the United States, Ron Dermer. And Ambassador Dermer, thank you for being with us tonight. Thank Obviously, you for this me. is a, a, you know, what happened here is, is horrific, and we don't yet even know the scale of how many children may have died. Initial reports indicate that, that at least 16 are dead. Um, and and the, the initial reports that was that this attack uh, had come from Israeli tanks. As you know, the Israeli military has said it may have come from Hamas and a rocket which misfired. Do you know at this point? Do you have any more certainty? No, I don't know, but I do know uh, who's responsible for it, uh, and that's Hamas, because they're using schools uh, as weapons depots, and I think it would be a disservice to your viewers for a reporter from Gaza not to mention that in the last week we had two different UNRWA schools where we had actually rockets found in the schools and handed over to Hamas. I also think it's a disservice. These are two different UN schools, you're saying? That's correct. That's publicly available information. It's kind of an important fact for your reporter to mention. And in addition to that, he may have wanted to mention a statement that was made by, not by the Israeli ambassador, not by the spokesman of the IDF, but by the 